We are here with the cast of The 100. How are you guys doing today? Pretty I'm great. Doing, I'm Pretty excited great. for the next season. It's definitely Fantastic. going to be a different take on the series. We got a new, a new cast member this, this season, Jordan. How did how did you feel like jumping into this cast and meeting everybody? How 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 did it work? How did, like everybody just welcomed you in with open arms? No, actually, well, yeah. When I first no. walked into the uh, the makeup trailer, they were like, "Hey!" Everyone started screaming, and then I felt like there was I was in like a playground with a bunch of kids crowning around me. <laughs> Richard came over and he was being really friendly. He's like, "That's this my seat's sister." Taken. Yeah. <laughs> seat's and then we taken. turned on him. With me, but hey, here, they were really welcoming. Seats. Taken. There's seat's taken. also another cast member. JR. Who is oh, yeah. new? Hi guys. We're really nice to him. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Yeah. They, were, they, they said they were going to be nicer to me than they were to Shannon. They learned their lessons. So hey, <laughs> make us look good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. so this is the sixth season. How has this ride been for all of you? I mean, you guys have been going through the con circuit. It's six seasons of like this amazing show. The fandom loves you guys. How's, how's this experience been for you like leading up to this? I think it's Go just on. been unreal. I've, I've been uh, a guest star on the show from the pilot. Yeah, yeah. So watching everybody grow together, watching the characters grow together, watching this cast become a family, watching the story evolve the way it has into a place where we're literally a book to a completely new story after six years to have like a, a reinvention of a story is mm -hmm. such, I think, something an actor won't ever get to live through very often in their lives. So we actually get to live here and absorb it and uh, kind of appreciate it because we're all so close yeah. Um, and it's really, I just think it's a special kind of thing, uh, not just as an actor, as a human being, to be with all these people and do these cool stories. It is pretty great, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's I, nice. That's really cool. I feel like, I mean, I the, the longest I ever spent on a show was three years, um, when I was, I think, uh, age 14 to 17. Um, and then doing this was 23 to nearly 30 now, and I was like, wow, like, uh, this, this, uh, having the opportunity to be a part of um, a cast and grow with it to this extent yeah. and grow with our characters and uh, also invite some new people in has been amazing. And then also the universe of the world of, of all the fans that are there with you, you've sort of brought into this massive family and this, this energy of, of love and like it, a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, so that, that's a whole thing on itself is being brought into all these people's lives and connecting with, with that yeah, aspect. That was like a love. discovery that I was not anticipating when I first came on. Like it was like meeting everybody and then like there was this whole other chapter which I didn't anticipate which was amazing. Yeah. Now first off for your character, Echo, um, we're going to see you in a new, brand new world. We're going to get to explore a little bit about her past and uh, how she came to be, you know, the great warrior she is. <sighs> we are. Yeah? Are you excited about that? Sure am. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on. We'll, we'll, we'll move on next. Sure am. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. No, no. Fine. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. I'm yeah. really, and, you know, that, that, there's, like, you know, a couple little moments in other episodes, but there's one um, main episode that focuses on that, and that episode is brilliant i'm really excited yeah. octavia now your character has been through the ringer um she's taken out of this uh taken out of her royalty role that she had on earth what kind of what kind of demons is she gonna be fighting now that she's on this new planet and you know interacting with people that have you know used to be her friends but i've kind of grown to hate her a little bit Oh, that's, a good, that's a really good question um so sometimes when human beings hit rock bottom yeah. The only way to look is up. Definitely. So that's where Octavia is headed in the next season. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a question if she wants to redeem her inner demons or not. Yeah. Um, because you can either go one, down one road and go darker and push them down, mm -hmm. or you can face them. Yeah, definitely. And your character, your character can be faced with redemption, with honor, and push down shame. So it'll be interesting next season for the fans to see what happens or not. To excited. face your demons? Oh, oh I see. boy, a play on that. words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the irony, Jason. <laughs> he thinks I don't pay attention, but I got, I, I'm like the lion in the grass that sees everything. <laughs> That's a discovery. So many good sound bites. <laughs> That's great. So can we talk a little bit about the Sanctum? Uh, you, you probably would be the best person to ask this. Tell me about this place. <laughs> and oh boy. Is it as great as you make it seem? Because I've been a fan of yours. Uh, you were on Teen Wolf, the gun-wielding uh, Mr. Argent. Um, are we, is he going to 
be wheeling any guns or is he going to be the peaceful man that we got introduced to in, this, in the trailer? Just well, your voice, I'm sorry. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's the best voice. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Good. So it's the eyes so for me. Like weapon. butter. Yeah. <laughs> combo. <laughs> I like the combo. That is, that is <laughs> <weapon. There. laughs> I put everybody to sleep. Okay. Um, there, there is most definitely a, a peacefulness to the you know, this world and this society that Russell leads and that was created, Sanctum. Um, and that offers, you know, even in peace, you know, because there's a yin and a yang to everything, that it offers uh, uh, an element of challenge, not only to all of these guys and, and their sort of how they adapt to this, this new world, which I think everyone's been looking for and, and is finally there, but again, under, even under the most beautiful, peaceful worlds or skins, there's still darkness that's there, and, and uh, I don't think that that is at all a spoiler. It it only adds to, I think, how amazing this uh, this season is for everybody. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, and they've created this sanctum, this this peaceful society, for you know, however they had to do it, <clears throat> which we can't really talk much about. But into that comes these people that are sort of blood drenched and violence yeah. you know is the thing that they know um, and it's going to be a challenge for Russell to sort of is he going to allow them to stay and yeah. and how far is he willing to sort of test his own sort of moral uh, rules that he's made Hang for on himself a second. is that too much of a story? are you trying to be clock <laughs> <laughs> never you guys are in some ways two sides of the same coin yeah, yeah which is yeah. beautiful which I, love, I like that oh my we've, God, I we've that. played with that a lot which is awesome yeah most definitely they'll have to face their demons yeah. yes. yes don't steal my pun <laughs> it's on the poster <laughs> why do you think I said it I'm the tiger in the grass that is a lion <laughs> how about Murphy? I thought you were a lion weren't you a lion like, did I hear my name tiger yes you're probably one of my favorite characters on the show because Thank you so you're a much. fighter. You've, you've he does. been there since season one, and you've made, you've survived all you know this whole time against all odds. Against all odds. Yeah. What is his time on Sanctum going to be like? I mean, it's tough because I think the his his fight is is within him, as I think this season is for for most people. I think everyone has to kind of on a new planet and, and a new world atone to themselves for what they've done and, and the person they've had to be to survive and go through the first five seasons because we've all done questionable things in order to ensure our own survival. I mean, I definitely have. I know that for sure. So I think it's going to be him dealing with that. Uh, I think if anyone needs a fresh start, it's 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 Murphy. But I I think the fun thing for the audience to see is, is, is how well he uses that fresh start. And we'll, we'll see. Now in the last season, the last time jump, we, we had um, Maddie uh, get introduced and Clark kind of took on this motherly role. But then Octavia came in Mother and it was a little, a little tug of war between How the two. How dare you, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> How's that dynamic between the three of you gonna um, you know, translate in the next season? Is there still gonna be a little bickering, a little, uh, is she still gonna be conflicted on who to follow? Yeah, I think what's inter like interesting about this season is that um, I think, in a way, uh, Maddie pro like proved herself to be very much the commander and yeah. her own person. And when we went to sleep, she was very, um, they were at peace, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, in the new season, I can't give away too much, but I think that what they, they do is kind of separate a little bit. And, you know, Maddie gets to be her own person fight her own demons. There you go, there's a tagline. Um, yeah. And oh, Clark, also, <laughs> Clark also goes on her own journey. So there is like a little bit of um, her having faith in her daughter to just let go and, and, and be who she needs to be. Okay. Yeah, and Octavia, not Octavia, that wasn't Octavia, that was Blood Raina. Blood Raina knew how to really get to Clark. And there was um, a kind of power struggle and fight there and uh, uh blood reina really knew how to get there and and that pawn was through maddie so that was a really interesting Thanks. story point jason yeah, yeah. One of yeah the good job we can say i think about about maddie's journey certainly like 
Clark and Maddie got to a point last year where you sort of let her go and lead that army. You know, that was a big choice for you, for Clark. Um, And this year, you kind of, as a good parent would, sort of make her live by that choice. Like, you you know, you chose to be the commander. It is now your responsibility. You know, with great power comes great responsibility, to borrow a phrase. (laughs) And, you know, that's something that happens this season, and we see Maddie kind of, like, working on her commander, you know, skills yeah definitely this i i hope i'm okay saying this there's something that i i love so much about the writing and about the show all seasons sure you are i yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) but you know in in real life because i know we you know this is sci-fi and and the circumstances and it's all but in in real life the 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 commonalities that we all have as human beings regardless of where we come from and you have exemplified that all of you have throughout all the seasons that regardless of where everybody's coming from and even in this season face the demons everybody's going to have to do that yeah and that's what happens in the season as in real life regardless of what our circumstances this is, are yeah. this is something that i demons. love about you by the way like it, it, jr has breathed like fresh air into that Absolutely. into our into yeah. our crew and we're just so grateful because i mean we would sit down um for hours and just talk about like yeah. you know just like get deeper and deeper into yeah. the humanity and the the you know the moral choices that are made and and I I, I don't think I would have done that without but you. This you bring season. like a nuance to the decision yeah. the the decisions that each character has to go through and and just I don't know it's so great to have those conversations with you. Yeah. Um, to actually well, delve into the story yeah. deeper than than what they're each all character. lying. We hate that you're here. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Why am I more comfortable here? Love you, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hearing, people can't take compliments, but I think also we you and God, Richard are matching right now. Yeah, yeah because we're Those the same. They are brothers. Okay. Moving on to Jordan. <laughs> Smart <laughs> choice. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a vibe that he's going to be like a fish out of water in this series. I'm thinking thinking back to that old Brendan F- Fraser movie, uh, Blast from the Past. Do you guys remember that film? Mm-hmm. Yes. Where he's stuck in a uh, fallout shelter. Oh, yeah. Are we going to have like those kind of those kind of uh, stories where you're just going to be totally oblivious to some of the human interactions since you weren't really involved with uh, the original cast since you were born? Is it going to be different? How, who, who are you going to connect to the most? I think I just want to say. I think he needs to connect with himself the most yeah. because you're still trying to you you f- you find yourself by facing yourself through other people mm-hmm. and you confront situations you face your demons you can't have light without the dark but he is he's grown up in a very perfect environment and uh, a very idealistic mindset and now he's going down down to a planet I've I've always described him as an, an Aquarius because it's ruled by Saturn which is a planet of structure and then now with its new ruling planet is Uranus which is a planet of rebellion. He comes from structure and a form, and now he's going. And he, it, Jason was describing him as um, almost like Buddha, who he was in, encapsulated in a perfect environment and left to, to experience, um, I guess, humanity in real, real life. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he was raised, obviously, Buddha was raised to not see pain, to not see suffering, to not see old people, to not see death. And Jordan was too. I mean, Jordan was raised by two people in a spaceship you know, for 27 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, Very similar in in terms of, you know, needing to go out into the world and see life and experience life and see what happens. And that's what we'll see from him. One of the things that I love so much about just having uh, him in the show, Shannon and the character of Jordan, is everything is new for him. Everything. He's never stepped on the ground before. These guys have, you know, destroyed a planet, gone down to the uh, ground before. And he smiles. We have a great resume. <laughs> yeah, but it's like <laughs> there's, there time. are scenes in early episodes where he's tasting things, and it's just like he's never tasted anything other than algae, algae. before. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really, it, it's, it is a beautiful thing. It's a great performance, and I'm, I'm looking forward for people seeing it. I don't think anyone's seen my teeth in six years. Is when I saw her teeth, I was blown. I was wow, she's got That's beautiful teeth. When Marie first smiled at me, oh, I was I like, didn't wow. Flip in for these braces for nothing. Like, <laughs> she always says that when she watches the show. She's like, why do you ever smile? I'm like, not allowed. Yeah. Well, I'm super excited for the se- uh, for the new season coming out April 30th on CW. That's right. So thank you guys so much Yay. for taking time. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.